Let's go to Rick Dyer, who is uh, uh, claiming that he killed Bigfoot. Good morning, Rick. How are you, my man? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Now, of course, I'm sure you've been asked this a million times, but um, uh, you're taking Bigfoot around. You claim to have killed Bigfoot in 2012, sent the body to a laboratory for testing, which you claim proves that it's Bigfoot. And now you're uh, taking Bigfoot around. I, I just talked to a listener of ours who listens to the show in, I think it's San Antonio, Texas, the guy I was calling from, said he saw you down there a few days ago. Um, you're taking Bigfoot around on a tour of sorts, and people can pay $10 to view Bigfoot. Uh, why, and I'm sure you've been asked this a million times, but why do it that way? That just seems like that is... Um, the least credible way of proving that you have killed a real Bigfoot? Well, I like the sideshow. And and you forgot to mention it is a sold-out tour. Hmm. And uh, uh, evidently, uh, maybe some people uh, think it's cheap or or whatever, but regardless, uh, every place I go, it's sold out. That may be true, but what I'm saying is that doesn't make it any more legit for that to be the avenue that you want to prove that it's Bigfoot. Because I would assume that you really, uh, you really want to prove that this is a real Bigfoot, right? Well, uh, that will come, and and when it is proven, then it will be in a museum tour instead of in back of a forty foot trailer. What what's taking uh, so long to prove that it is Bigfoot? I mean, you killed this in twenty twelve. It's now twenty fourteen. Um, why is it taking almost two years to get to this point? Two years is nothing. Uh, uh, the last new species of rat took five years to come out. Five years. Uh, I think we're moving pretty fast with this one. All right. So tell me how you killed this Bigfoot. What? Where were you? And what did you do? How did this happen? I was uh, outside of San Antonio, Texas, uh, filming a documentary with uh, Mental Films out of the UK for the BBC, and. Um, I investigated, and I came up uh, that Bigfoot is more more than likely in a homeless camp. I know it sounds crazy, but um, I found him in a homeless camp, and uh, the homeless people kept calling the police, uh, saying that uh, uh, they have seen a Bigfoot monster drag a deer carcass across the road and stuff, and and no one would believe the homeless, so uh, I went down there and investigated and found out that, hey, Bigfoot's there. So I, so I stayed there for six nights in a row, and uh, Bigfoot did come out, and that's when I shot and what'd killed you, him. What did you use, ribs to lure him? Ribs, yes, and, sir. And what did you shoot him with? What kind of weapon? 30-06 uh, Model 710. Um, now... My understanding, because big, uh, my my co-host Dieter is also a Bigfoot hunter. Uh, he sets up infrared cameras out in the woods. He goes on trips, kind of like you do, Rick. Um, he believes on this stuff. I, of course, uh, am a little. Well, skeptical. I'm the only Bigfoot hunter in in the world. I'm I'm the only true Bigfoot hunter. Well, that's we killed a Bigfoot. Yeah. Clear. Um. Now, Rick, uh, my understanding is that Bigfoot really tries to stay away from people. Hence, that's why we've never Correct. gotten one. So what's he doing living in a homeless camp all of a sudden? Huh. Because, the homeless, uh, because the homeless people lived in the woods, mm -hmm. and the Bigfoot got immune to, to the homeless in the woods, and that's why he let his guard down. I see. Um, all right, so you shoot Bigfoot, and then what do you do with this Bigfoot? You... you you, you drag them uh, to your truck or something. What do you do after that? I run a freezer truck, and we take them to a university. Uh, we we call several, and several universities hung up and thought it was a joke. And one university said, hey, if you have what you say you have, and then go ahead and bring it. And um, I did. And uh, they had it. For a while, uh, about a year and five months, and 
then in December they they uh, turned it over to me back in a full mount as agreed when uh, I dropped it off. All right, and and uh, you're not able to say what university that was. The only reason I'm not able to say is because I have a bunch of haters, and everybody that I'm associated with, these people will call and harass them and and make YouTube videos about them. Uh, anyone associated with me, so so it's just a, a form of jealousy. Hey, Rick, Rick, you're out there with a camera crew. Did you get footage of this damn thing? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. It's it's in a uh, documentary called. Shooting Bigfoot. The documentary was originally called uh, Man of Monsters, and when this happened, they uh, uh, changed the name to Shooting Bigfoot. Uh, Rick Dyer is the master tracker, the Bigfoot hunter. Now, of course, people are skeptical of, of this because of what happened in 2008, which is uh, where you had a, a press conference saying that you had found Bigfoot, you have him in this freezer, and it turns out that was it was really just a, a rubber ape suit. Um, Correct. Why would anyone now, this time around, believe this story after that 2008 hoax? Because I wanted redemption for destroying my name and the only way I get redemption was to uh, uh, go find and kill Bigfoot and bring it out uh, but in 2008 it, it didn't start out as a hoax but it sure ended that way what do you mean by that it didn't start out as a hoax uh, in 2008 I found a dead Bigfoot in a place called Fall Creek Falls, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And I drug that out of the woods, and I started to make YouTube videos. And the YouTube videos went viral. And uh, a government agency came out, and they took the Bigfoot. And you had and to replace was, Bigfoot with a rubber suit then, basically, is what you're saying. Oh. I was left holding the bag, and I was too far into it, so I had to do something. Unfortunately, that was a bad decision, but uh, I, I I did it, and I take full responsibility for it. Why not just say the government came and took my Bigfoot? Why not do that? <laughs> because the jobs that the other person had was uh, real important. And his uh, captain said, if if you don't produce something, then you're going to look for another job. So we produced something. I see. And uh, unfortunately, and unfortunately, it turned out the way that we wanted. Well, uh, Rick Dyer is uh, is now on tour. How long are you going to uh, cart Bigfoot around, and where are you going? Are you going going all over the United States, or where uh, where are you all going? Uh, well, we're going all over the United States. We're going to Cleveland, New York, San Antonio. We just got through. We're, we're, we're just going everywhere, and we're already booked in Austria, Australia, Japan, and Germany. Wow. Well, I'll uh, be there then. All right. I well, when you this. roll into town, I'd love to, you know, maybe... Uh, Wheel it in here. I'd yeah. love to come, or at least bring the trailer by the parking lot. Yeah. I want to go out there and see this thing and, and take a look at this thing and... Uh, see if it looks legit or not. But um, all right, Rick Dyer is the master. You have a website, Rick, that people can check out or anything? Yes. Uh, uh, please like my fan page at, uh, at Rick Dyer Official on uh, Facebook and my website, BigfootToday.com. All right, Bigfoot. You know that website, right? Oh, BigfootToday.com. All right, uh, Rick, thank you. And I'm looking for the definitive proof. Of this, and what what do you have to do? I guess last question: What do you have to do? Uh, because obviously, it's not going to prove that it's Bigfoot taking it around in your trailer behind your your truck. Uh, what has to occur right now? Well, what has to occur for this to be proven uh, to be Bigfoot? Like just just me, if I killed Bigfoot, I think I would do two things. One, I would call right after I did it. I'd call NBC and I'd say, "Hey, I." I shot and killed Bigfoot. 
Uh, I want you to, to document this as, you know, we'll take this to scientists, we'll take this to universities, whatever. I, I don't want a nickel. However, if it turns out after this is done, whether it takes a year or two years, you were your cameras were there to document the whole thing, uh, pay me $10 million because this will be such a huge ratings blockbuster if it's it's uh, positively ID'd as Bigfoot and a new species. I would have done that uh, right off the bat. Um, and, of course, I, I guess I would have released the scientific information and all of that. What are you going to do in order to prove that this is really Bigfoot, Rick? Well, well, that is a mistake that you would have made uh, because then you would have got it taken away by the government again and, and got left with nothing. Uh, the, the way I did it is I made it look like, hey, is, does this guy have one or does this have this guy not? And then while, while I was saying that, all the medical tests was being done, and over 100 scientists got to work on the specimen. I made it so it would be impossible for someone to come in and take it and have no evidence that I killed it. And I've already got... A lot of money down. Why? Why isn't it? Well, and, well wait a second. Real quick, two questions. Uh, number one, I, if I were secu uh, worried about the security of Bigfoot, I probably wouldn't uh, carry it around the United States in, in in a trailer behind my pickup truck. And number two, uh, have have any of the scientists come forward and said, "Yeah, I tested it. I really think it's Bigfoot." And if not, why haven't they come forward? Well, number one, it, it's it's not a truck. It's it's a hundred and seventy five thousand dollar bus. Okay. Uh, with a seventy thousand dollar trailer, mm -hmm. and uh, number two, that it it is it's just the um, uh, it's like a Bigfoot rug. Mm -hmm. The head is mounted, the hands and feet are mounted, but the body is like the uh, skin and hair. Uh, they have all the stuff that means something at the university, like like the bones and the uh, organs and the meat they have everything there that is important that is important to the pharmaceutical people and the pharmaceutical people uh had already paid paid me a lot of money uh just to study this and the, the last question and i got one the last oh. question the, oh, the he just oh, hung up oh. he just hung up damn <laughs>